Time to fly. You go because you heard a cuckoo call. You go because you've met someone. You made a vow. There are no more grasshoppers. You go because the cold is coming. Spring is coming. Soldiers are coming. Plague, flood, an ice age, a new religion, a new idea. You go because the world rotates. Because the world is changing and you've lost the key. You go because you have the kingdom of heaven in your heart. And the kingdom of hell has taken over someone else's heart. You go because you have magnetite in your brain, thorax, tips of your teeth. Because the grass is green over the hill and there's gold, or more likely, bauxite, inside the hill. You go because your mother is dying and only you can bring her the apples of the Hesperides. You go because you need work. You go because the astrologers say so. The sea is calling. Your best friend bought a motorbike in America last year. You go because the streets are paved with gold. And besides, your father went when he was your age. You go because you have 17 children and the Lord will provide. Because your 16 brothers have parceled up the land and there's none left for you. You go because the waters are rising, an ice sheet is melting, the rivers are dry, there are no more fish in the sea. You go because God has given you a sign. You had a dream. The potatoes are blighted because it is too hot, too cold. You are on a quest for knowledge and knowledge is always beyond. You go because it's destiny, because Pharaoh won't let you light candles on Friday at sundown. Because you are looking for an enchanted lake, the meaning of life, a tall tree to nest in. You go because travel is holy, because your body is wired to go. You'd have a quite different body and different brain if you were the sort of bird that stayed. You go because you can't pay the rent. Creditors lie in wait for your children after school. You go because Pharaoh has hogged the oil, electricity and paraffin. So all you have on your table are candles when you can get them. You go because there's nothing left to hope for. Because there's everything to hope for and all life is risk. You go because someone put the evil eye on you and barometric pressure is dropping. You go because you can't cope with your gift. Other people can't cope with your gift. You have no gift and the barbarians are after you. You go because the barbarians are gone. Herod has turned off the internet and mobile phones. The modem is useless and the eagles are coming. You go because the eagles have died off with the vultures and the ancestors are angry. There's no one to clean the bones. You go in peace. You go in war. Someone has offered you a job. You go because the dog is going too. Because the Grand Vizier sent paramilitaries to your house last night, you have to go quick and leave the dog behind. You go because you've eaten the dog and that's it. There's nothing else. You go because you've given up and might as well. Because your love is dead. Because she laughed at you. Because she's coming with you, it will be a big adventure and you'll live happily ever after. You go in hope, in faith, in haste, in high spirits, deep sorrow, deep snow, deep shit and without question. You pause halfway to stoke up on omega-3 and horseshoe crabs. You go for phosphorus, myrtle berries, salt. You go for oil and pepper. It was your father's dying wish. You go from pole to pole. You go because you can. You mate and sleep on the wing. You go because you need a place to shed your skin in safety. You go with a thousand questions. But you're growing up, growing old, moving on. Say goodbye to the might have been. You can't step into the same river twice. You go because hope, need and escape are same names for the same God. You go because life is sweet, life is cheap, life is flux and you can't take it with you. You go because you're alive, because you're dying, maybe dead already. You go because you must.